Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for September 1st. Yeah, so this reading is not sign specific and it's not time specific. So this reading may or may not be for you. This is just an energy that I'm pulling in. It's a message for somebody. I don't know who. So, yeah, let's see what we got. What do we have for the first? Oh, well, I don't know why I did that. Five of Cups reversed. This is, there's another opportunity here. It's seeing it. It's like I see another opportunity. Somebody is, you know, done crying. All done. You know, there's an opportunity here and I see it. I see it. Um, this is like they've been going through a period of recovery. Uh, the recovery period is just about over because somebody's beginning to heal from a loss. Okay. It's Five of Cups reversed. So, hmm. That path, somebody has been down that long winding road to recovery. Or they're thinking about it. Okay, this could have something. This, has, you know, it's funny because I don't usually use the word recovery. So, recovery. So, somebody may deciding, you know, it's time to recover, or they are going through a big recovery, or they have gone through a big recovery. Um, three of fire. This is building an empire right here. This is waiting, building, planning. We've reached the point where now it's time. Something is happening, okay? Something is about to happen, okay? Something is. Somebody has been following the plan. Aha, yeah. Because if you look at it, we got somebody here that's following the plan, right? Getting prepared, getting prepared for something to arrive. Building, rebuilding themselves. Somebody has been rebuilding themselves. Evolution. Woo, now it's time. Like I said, this is a lover's card. So now it's time. Something is arriving. The Three of Wands, something is arriving. Could be a new lover. Somebody that is, your, is not your usual type. Okay, this person may not be, they don't fit the description, right? This person, maybe the last one you dated was skinny. This next one is fat, The next, or vice versa. You know, that's just an example. <laughs> I'm blunt, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, maybe the last one was beautiful. This one isn't so beautiful. Um, you know, whatever. Maybe the last one had all kinds of money. This next one doesn't have very much money, or vice versa. You know, this is your unusual. It's not who you're used to. Um, this person may be of a different culture. This person may be from a different area. This person is completely, you know, unusual to you. They're not uh, anything like the last people that you have been with, okay? So something is arriving or s something is coming together. Ace, it's... And somebody's been needing to take a new approach. This is the Ace of Swords reversed, okay? Somebody is uh, not seeing a situation clearly. They may not see, they may not see that this is the perfect match because it doesn't fit the description. Oh, amazing, amazing. Now this, this union that has, that is coming in, this is a union, it is. It that is coming in is brought to you from above. It is. It's meant to happen at this time. Somebody's hard work has paid off by the looks of the hard work in recovering or something like that. <laughs> Somebody is probably going to meet this person right at the end of their recovery, you know what I mean? Maybe that's because this is a card of love heals as well. So somebody comes in to help you go the rest of the way, okay? Remember, it's funny that I mentioned that path. I don't know where that came from either. But, you know, I feel like there's a lack of awareness here. Or there's a lack of... What the hell is it? <laughs> I thought there was something on that card. It's a shirt. I'm Virgo rising. Excuse me. <laughs> See, that's funny. See, that's that's funny because it, it it doesn't look like what it seems, okay? It doesn't. So there you go. There you go. It doesn't look like what it seems. 
So there's an opportunity for two people to come together. This person can help you to heal, okay? Because love heals. This is the love that you have been waiting for, okay? But it definitely does not, it's not what you think it is. Um, the Three of Swords. This person going to help you heal, like I said. This is the Three of Swords. Um... <sighs> You know, whoever you're dealing with, they've probably been hurt just as much as you have. And that's why you guys can help each other heal. Okay? When I think of evolution, I think of the temperance card. Okay? And it's, this is on the lover's card. And that's working together to heal. The temperance card. Even though this is a six, this is the lover's card. Okay? It is. Um, but I, you know, when I see that, I think of the temperance card. So I feel as though we have somebody that has been through a healing process... There, it's like, and now there's, there's an opportunity for two people to come together and heal the rest of the way. You know, heal together um, the rest of the way. This is a heartache. This is heart pain. Um, this is stopping communication with the person that hurt them or no longer thinking about it. I don't know. Let's see. This is the Queen of Cups. Now, this is, this is um, very kind, very gentle, very loving. This is somebody who feels. Um, this is a very caring individual with a big heart. Four of Cups reversed. This, this is seizing an opportunity. An opportunity is about to be seized. And you see, uh, you know, this is half a brain. This is half a brain. I don't know, but uh, it's like using your heart. Follow somebody, you know, follow your heart. What does your heart want? What does your heart want? Okay? Heart versus mind, okay? Somebody's thinking with half a fucking brain. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it is what it is. I'm, I can't hold back. So anyway, um, so somebody is not thinking clearly. This is somebody that has a big heart. So somebody has an opportunity, an unexpected opportunity. There's a connection here. They may have felt it. You know, they see it. They felt it. You know, they, they feel a connection with this person, but they're unusual to them. They're nothing like any of the other ones. But this person has a big heart. And if you can, you know, let go of your negative thoughts or whatever, there's an opportunity to basically come together with this person. Um, magician reverse. Now, this is deception. This could be self-deception. It could be... Um, inability to shed that pain fully because it's unable to shed, unable to take action. This is unable to communicate. So if somebody is unable to find the strength and the resources within them to communicate and maybe they can't communicate because of their previous heartache or their previous pain. They're definitely not thinking clearly, so somebody needs to be more optimistic here. Two of Earth, repent of, two of Earth, two of Pentacles, reverse. This is um, not making a right, the uh, practical decision. Somebody has acted in a impractical way. They've made some poor decisions in the past, and they're afraid to get caught up in any um, illogical situations. To them, okay. okay? So the, the Two of Pentacles reversed to me is somebody that. Um, is you know has a hard time starting over has a hard time focusing this person um, has a hard time staying on track and it's like there's an opportunity to work with somebody if you can take that next step and and focus refocus try to think clearly make sure that you're not letting your old ways this is the magician reversed is unable to shed unable to shed their old ways the magician reversed so somebody needs to, if you, in order to find success, I'm talking about the magician right now, the magician reversed, you're going to have to do something different, okay? You've got to do something different. In that, in, and so holding on to your old ideas and your old ways and your old beliefs and your, you know, the, the people that you used that never worked out, you know, there's something here that could work out if you can take this new opportunity and you know, give it a chance. Don't deceive yourself by what you had. What you had broke your heart. What you had didn't fulfill you. There's a reason it didn't work out. So anyway, um, yeah. So, um, let me just make sure this is good. So we have somebody here that is reluctant to take that next step because they're still holding, they're doing things the way they always used to do them. But they see somebody with a big heart. They do. And they probably, you know, have some sort of... In connection, intuitive connection, some sort of spiritual connection with this person. 
Um, this is the justice reversed. So things are unbalanced. This is um, not doing the right thing. This might have to do with past karma that needs to be dealt with. Um, unfair, not wanting to be held accountable. You know, somebody has been dealt an unfair hand by the looks of things, and they've been through a lot of chaos. That's why we have recovery up here. And I, it, you you got to find the resources within you to start over, you know, start over in a new direction. Broaden your horizons. Don't go down the same path that you've been going down. Obviously, that didn't work in the past. Anyway, there's a new connection here. It's new, okay? It's brand new. Okay, it is. It has nothing to do with this. It has nothing to do with the past. The only thing the past did was hurt somebody and cause them the need. They grieved. Okay, and then they had to go through a recovery and a healing period. And that's what the past caused here. So now we have this new connection with somebody that, you know, has a big heart. There's, I think that both people in this scenario feel the connection. I do. But seizing that new opportunity, you know, is going to take communication. It's going to take taking that next step. It's, you know, it's it's going to take shedding your old ways and taking actions. So we have somebody here that sees an opportunity, but they're not taking any action because this person, you know, doesn't fit the description. There's a reason this this lovers I mean that's an angel bringing two people together or a higher power bringing two people together that are meant to be but it is unexpected and it's not anything that you expected mayoress of air we have the queen of swords now um this is be optimistic look at things from a new perspective you could be dealing with a gemini libra or aquarius uh Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, we have Libra here, we have Gemini here, we have everybody here, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so we have, we have everybody here, it's like somebody is, something is arriving that is going to help you build a, build something, okay, this is an opportunity to build something even bigger, okay, a bigger foundation, and it will help you to heal, but you have to open your eyes and realize that this person, the reason they are different is because whoever it was in the past, they weren't meant to be, and, and you, can't, you can't keep going down that path. Um, this magician reverse, this is somebody that's unwilling to shed. And this is your ideas. Swords are ideas, the ace of swords. You, If you don't shed your old ideas, your old thoughts, your old ways, you know, you're gonna, just going to continue to hurt yourself. You're going to continue to get your heart broke. Those, you know, maybe those are your life lessons. You know, there's something karmic here with this justice card reversed. There's something karmic that you need to learn here. And it has to do with choosing things that, you know, but not based on their face value. So anyway, um, somebody um, has an opportunity, an unexpected opportunity with somebody. And it's, it's definitely going to come out of the blue um, if this person finds the strength to speak up. So I don't know if this reading is for you or not. This is an opportunity to heal with somebody new. God. Bye.